the last thing we need to do to finish up these quarter 20 tap tolls is to actually program the tapping operation, which is again, really simple. We're going to, uh, we're going to have that same P top feature selected that simple whole feature. We're going to go to our solid mill traditional toolbar again, select on drilling operation. So these are all under the drilling operation tab. We're going to go ahead and select the, uh, the quarter 20 spiral flute tap that we've got defined in our tool list. We're going to go to the drill tab here and instead of peck drilling now we're going to select tapping and uh and so we, and we're going to select our total depth and so our total depth actually is is set to the same depth as the hole but we know that the part's only a, a quarter of an inch deep so we can actually set this depth to be let's call it 0.25 inches oh you know what because there's a spiral flute tap and it's a little bit tapered. Let's go ahead and say 0.5 inches, but we don't have to go all the way through the stock material with the threads, as long as we go all the way through the workpiece. So I'm gonna set that total depth to 0.5 inches. Our starting depth again is gonna be zero. Uh, it's tapping cycle. And, and let's go back to our general tab. So, so in, in a lot of the other operations here, I've skipped over the selecting the feeds and speeds so that you could look them up from your chart. But I just wanna talk about the, the feed and speed for a tapping operation because they, they have to be linked. And so if we go ahead here and we go to the, uh, let's see, alt tab, I want the Manufacturing Labs webpage, which I've got open in a browser window here somewhere. There it is. So I've got my uh, Manufacturing Labs webpage here. If we go to Information for Students, sorry, Information for Students, Tooling, Mill Tooling, it'll bring you to this page that's got a chart that we've developed just for, for use at WPI, but it can be helpful for anybody else. And we go down here to the, the tab called Taps. We look at the, uh, the tab called Taps. So for aluminum, and you can, you can look at this aluminum wrought alloys, die cast, cast alloys. We're using what's a, a wrought alloy here. So it wants to go 80 surface feet per minute. I'll tab back over here to Esprit. So let's go surface feet per minute, 80. And it will calculate now the RPM. Now what I know about the, the Haas mini mill that we're gonna use to cut this part is that um, it won't sync the, uh, the feed and the speed over 2000 RPM. So I wanna make sure that this number is under 2000. If it's not, you need to cap it right at 2000 and it will recalculate everything else. Now, based on knowing the, the tool uh, information here, it has calculated our Z feed rate for us. We don't need to touch this. We put in the speed, make sure we don't go over 2000 inches a minute and it will calculate the Z feed rate for us. If we're over 2000 inches a minute, the tap will break usually when it's retracting up out of the hole. I know this, I've broken, let's just say that we broke a lot of taps before we found out that there was a setting that didn't allow it to go faster than 2000 inches a minute with the older style Haas machine tools that we're using here. Um, so if you're using a different machine tool, you'll wanna find out what that tool manufacturer's top sync speed is for tapping.